well the provider itself when it exposes the shared state that's fine but actually it doesn't take any changes which should reflect on the UI so that's the problem with the provider with provider yes you can grab the current state and show it on the UI but after that if there are changes like we did to our app count variable it doesn't reflect and that's how provider itself work so how do we go ahead from here now instead of provider we can use something called state provider okay now let's go ahead and change it to state provider the same thing now here we are okay and nothing else changes so our provider became state provider and here you see that state provider is a provider that can exposes a value that can be modified from outside this one exposes a value that could be modified from outside which means that whatever the value it exposes from the state provider we can use that value and change that value from outside what does it mean outside means not here outside means from this UI section this is where we can change it now let's go ahead and restart our app all right now let's click on this okay of course it doesn't work like this so how does how it should work so instead of changing the count variable itself like this we have a special way of changing the variable for that one we need to call ref.read and then you need to call your provider what is our provider app count is our provider i guess uh, let me see yeah app count is our provider and with it you get a notifier object as you can see and then over here you will have state object and state object itself you could actually do this which means that increment which means that you can increase the value okay so that's what we're doing over here so now let's restart let me I'll talk about it soon now you see our value is changing so eventually we are able to change value from outside well i wouldn't say outside i mean we are able to change value that is persistent one thing so state provider is different from provider state provider exposes and provider object and that object value could be changed outside of this which means from ui now to change we should do it like this ref dot read okay all right so in general you may use ref dot watch to get the provider objects return value in this case int a count type an int type variable we call it count and we use that one on the ui to show but as we change the value you would change it using ref dot read so if you want to show the value on the UI, get that current value from the provider using ref.watch. And if you want to change the value on the uh, whatever the current value is there, get that value using ref.read. And you have to get the notifier object. You can understand it like this. Okay, I'm attaching a notifier listener, which means that if I change the count value or object value notify the ui so that's why the new values get reflected over here which we are able to expose it over here and that's beautiful okay and uh, what is the state object and what is it actually now the state object also is coming from riverport where it says that uh, coming from state controller 
Now let's see if we can access to this variable. Yes, we can. Over here we see that, okay, we have this state controller which extends state notifier. And inside this, uh, we also have this, uh, it's like a getter. So what does it do over here? I'm not sure that we can go inside of this. Let's go to this state notifier class. Yes, so over here we have this state notifier class. And uh, what else? Yes, we do see that over here we also have state and the state get state set state. So, and inside this we have famous listener, listener object, add listener. Most probably we'll also say notify listener. All right, so I'm going to close this now over here. Now, this state variable actually points to the shared memory. So whatever variable actually you have returned, that is represented by this state variable, the one that we see over here. So whatever you return from provider, like at the top we had this provider, now we are using state provider. So whatever you're using from the, that place is the value. Now I'm talking about the value itself, the real value of the variable is pointed by this, okay? state provider itself it gives you everything from the shared memory because it contains a lot of other things which we would be able to use but now what is this exact value that we want to change or modify how we can access that we access that using the state variable okay now i know it could be a little bit convoluted that so many ideas but sometimes here we go you just remember like this that the value itself could be found using this state okay yeah and uh, you can also increase the value using state of course if you want you can also decrease the value so let's hot restart now three now it's decreasing, okay? So it happens either way, it doesn't really matter. All right. So before I finish this section, here we learn, okay, instead of provider, we should be using state provider because state provider helps you to change the value and reflect it on the UI. Once we have a state provider, we have to get the value. How do we get the value of that provider? using watch.ref and then if we want to show the value directly on the UI just save ref.watch into this count variable and show it on the UI and if we want to change the current value then we need to call ref.read then our provider which is actually state provider and then notifier object and then the state object and that's how it works all right so in this section that's pretty much it and now we'll learn how to actually use this variable or value from another class say for example i create a stateless class I'm going to create a stateless class and I'm going to call it second page. All right, and that's it.